Hendrix, Dylan, Elton John, Steely Dan, of course Dolly Parton. This man has worked with them all. The photographer and art director behind more than 200 iconic album covers and stunning images like the famous photo of Jimi Hendrix and his flaming guitar. Ed Carriff is in Austin with his first solo exhibit. It's called Eyes That See in the Dark. Ed is live with us this morning to talk more about his work. Ed, how are you? Thanks Good morning. Good morning, Austin. Good morning. Uh, so talk about your exhibit. Uh, I know it's got some of your early photos, and I know there's a big cardboard cutout of Dolly Parton. Right. You can, co you can come and have your photo taken with Dolly. Because you did the iconic cover for Here, Here You Come Again. That's the day, I, the photo that's in the show that opens tomorrow is the day I met Dolly and picked her up at the hotel and picked out clothes and took a bunch of photos. Next day I showed her an idea for an album cover and I think I did four album covers after that. That's amazing. Uh, well, let's talk about the Hendrix photo specifically. This is a very famous photo uh, and you got this at the Monterey Pop Festival, 1967. How old were you? I had just turned 17. I was still in high school taking photography classes. And I was there on, on an assignment because I had already been selling photographs of live shows to a local radio station. So I had a press pass and I, I, I took, you know, took, took the shots and nobody cared about it for 20 years. Nobody said anything like, did you get that shot of Jimi Hendrix? Uh, it was no big deal until Jan Wenner put it on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. And just like the song goes, it became famous on the cover. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, you did, as I mentioned, you did hundreds of album covers. You did several for Elton John, uh, and one of the images that you took is that image of him sort of almost flying above the piano. Right, that wasn't an album cover, but I think I have uh, two different photos of, of Elton jumping up at two different concerts. Yeah. But w what's interesting about that is, I, like I said, I was the high school photographer, and I was doing sports and I learned that when a high jumper jumps, there's a time when they actually stop before they come down. So as he's jumping up, I'm timing that because it's a slow shutter speed that when he's at the uh, top of his jump, that's when I would snap it. So all that's those right. things came into play. I was going to ask how you got that. I assume you saw the movie Rocket Man. They sort of took that image and ran with it. <laughs> well, that really happened, you know. I yeah. mean, that, that was, you know. Yeah, that really happened, that, but he, he acted like he was uh, sort of actually flying. Yeah, which, that was really nicely done. That was really nicely yeah. done. It was really cool. Uh, what else is at the exhibit? What can we see at the exhibit? A, a lot of things that I hadn't even seen until my archive, which was over 300,000 images. I sold it before I started on my current bucket list trip. Uh, the company that bought it in London spent five years organizing everything and together with the gallery owner Stephen here at Modern Rocks Gallery we've selected I believe 30, 35 different uh, photos which will be in the show plus some of the album covers and some of the books I've done and since I then became a chef some of the food yeah. and I've designed a couple bites for tomorrow's opening night and a special cocktail. So, so it's going to be a bit. It. It's going to be a big happening <laughs> tomorrow. I did a playlist and uh, awesome. some merchandise that's been done from my photographs will be there. And yeah, it'll be it'll be a happening in Austin. There you go. <laughs> well, the exhibit is tomorrow through Saturday, October 29th at the Modern Rocks Gallery on Springdale Road. Uh, and there's the information there. Thank you so much for coming on. Sir. Thank Just you. Just a random question: uh, yes. all the album covers that that you didn't do. Is there an album cover that you wish you had done? No, 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 no. I, 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 I worked steady for 15 years. I mean, every job that came my way, I took except a couple because I couldn't, uh, I was professional. I couldn't deliver it on the deadline they yeah. want. But no, I have no, no regrets and did everything I could. Worked, you know, nonstop. I did all my own darkroom work and yeah. that's probably why I'm in the condition I'm in today because <laughs> I, I, I really worked hard for 15 years. Your work is amazing. Thank you so Thank much, you. Ed. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Definitely. We'll be right back.